Did you know that thousands of people in India live with thyroid nodules without realizing that there are modern non-surgical solutions available today? If you have ever noticed a swelling or lump in your neck or experienced discomfort, difficulty in swallowing or you are experiencing voice changes, you might be dealing with a thyroid nodule. Hi, I am Dr. Nagateja Bonala, Intervention Radiologist at Clinic 7, Kukatpalli, Hyderabad. In this video, I will explain two very effective, minimal invasive, non-surgical treatments for thyroid nodules. One is thyroid nodule embolization, the other is thyroid microwave ablation. These procedures offer safe alternates to surgery with fast recovery and excellent results. So let's start from the beginning. A thyroid nodule is a lump or swelling within the thyroid gland which is located in the front of the neck. So thyroid nodules are extremely common. Studies show that almost 50% of adults may develop small nodules during their lifetime, especially in regions like India where iodine deficiency or environmental factors play a very key role. Most thyroid nodules are benign, harmless, but some nodules can grow large enough to cause certain symptoms. Most commonly the symptoms are like a visible lump in the neck, difficulty in swallowing or difficulty in breathing, change or hoarseness of voice, a feeling of pressure in your neck and very rarely hormonal imbalance and much more rarely those nodules can turn into a cancer. So proper evaluation is very essential. Most nodules are small, don't grow and don't cause any symptoms. But treatment is recommended only if such nodules are either large or rapidly growing or they cause symptoms like discomfort in the neck or difficulty in swallowing or difficulty in breathing or hoarseness of voice that is change in voice or when the nodule creates cosmetic concerns like swelling which is looking odd. These are the reasons when you might have to get that nodule treatment done. Sometimes a nodule may require treatment despite being benign or non-cancerous in order to avoid future complications. In the past, surgery was the only option but today we have non-surgical safe alternatives. Thyroid nodule embolization is a minimal invasive procedure that blocks the blood supply to the nodule causing it to shrink in size. So let me explain you in little detail. Under local anesthesia, a small catheter is inserted into the artery in your thigh or sometimes in the hand. So that catheter is guided by advanced imaging techniques into the small blood vessel which supplies the thyroid nodule. So that navigation is done under advanced imaging technique. Once the catheter reaches the artery which supplies the thyroid nodule, a special blocking agent is injected into those uh, arteries which permanently block the uh, supply to that nodule. As a result, the nodule will no longer receive blood supply and over time it shrinks and the symptoms improve. The entire procedure takes about 45 minutes to 1 hour roughly and is performed on a daycare basis. An ideal candidate for this embolization procedure is uh, who has large benign thyroid nodules causing pressure symptoms or those who are unsuitable for surgery due to any medical conditions rendering them unfit for any major surgeries and a patient who is preferring a scar free solution and those who are worried or those who are contraindicated or those who cannot undergo general anesthesia and those who want a very fast recovery and most important Importantly, for those who want to avoid long-term thyroid hormone tablets, this is the best treatment for you. Microwave ablation is another non-surgical, minimally invasive treatment. So this is how it works. Under ultrasound guidance, a thin needle-like probe is inserted into the thyroid nodule under ultrasound guidance. So we know for sure where the needle is going. So it is placed in the center of the nodule and the microwave energy is delivered directly into the nodule tissue, generating heat that destroys the abnormal cells in that area. So over a period of few weeks to months, the nodule gradually shrinks into harmless scar tissue. So this procedure also takes about less than one hour, that is around 30 to 40 45 minutes and is usually done under local anesthesia and this microwave ablation does not even require a full-fledged hospital admission. It can be done on an OP basis. 
so these procedures are completely different from a traditional surgery this does not involve any incision there is no cutting or there is no suturing so there is no possibility of a scar formation and uh, unlike surgery you don't have to stay in the hospital for two to five days it is only a daycare procedure and even the recovery time is much faster compared to surgery the recovery time in case of surgery depending on the severity may be anywhere between two to three weeks but in case of uh, uh, embolization or the microwave ablation the recovery is hardly one to two days and because there is no cutting or suturing involved there is no incision at all on the skin so there is no possibility of a scar formation on the outside and there is no requirement for general anesthesia and more importantly there is no risk of vocal cord injury which can happen during the surgery and even more importantly there is no requirement of long term or sometimes lifelong thyroid medications after the surgery after embolization or after microwave ablation you don't have to be on lifelong medication because your normal thyroid is left alone we are only treating the nodules which is not possible in surgery both embolization and microwave ablation are excellent alternatives that preserve thyroid function and offer quicker recovery. Yes, both embolization and microwave ablations are performed under real-time imaging guidance ensuring very high precision and care. So risks are very minimal when done by an experienced uh, interventional radiologist. There are certain uh, side effects which can happen with, with any procedure there can be side effects. So there are certain side effects even with this procedure and are very minimal and very negligible. The first one is there can be mild neck discomfort, something like when you have a throat infection. That kind of feeling may be there for a few days, usually less than a week. And there may be minor bruising at the entry site of that tube, usually in your hand or in your thigh. And very rarely, there can be a temporary change in your voice, which will come back to your normal voice within like one to two weeks on a maximum of 21 days. So these are the only things which can go wrong and these are all temporary and everything will come back to normal within a very short time. So there are no long term side effects or long term disadvantages to this treatment, especially when chosen for the right candidate. So most patients report excellent outcomes with significant nodule shrinkage over a period of three to six months. Absolutely, in patients with pressure symptoms or cosmetic concerns, these procedures provide very long lasting relief and thyroid hormone levels usually remain very stable after the treatment. There may be a very, very, very transient uh, you know, change in thyroid hormones immediately after the treatment, especially in case of thyroid artery embolization, but that lasts only for a maximum of 21 days and during that period, you are put on certain medications to control the uh, effects of that thyroid hormone imbalance and everything comes back to normal after 21 days and there is no requirement for you to continue the medications and there is a very uh, low chance of this nodule growing back again so this treatment can be considered for long-term results Thyroid nodule embolization and microwave ablation are safe, minimally invasive and are performed under local anesthesia. There are no incisions or scars. There is a very short recovery time and it gives a very long term symptomatic relief. And most importantly, they preserve the thyroid function. And these treatments are now available in Hyderabad at our center at Clinic 7 Kukatpali. If you have a thyroid nodule causing discomfort or a visible lump or any of the pressure symptoms, Talk to us and we can check for your thyroid nodule status and discuss all the treatment options. I am Dr. Nagateja Bonala from Clinic 7 at Kukatpali in Hyderabad. Drop your questions in the comments or contact us directly for any further questions. Stay healthy, take care, goodbye, I'll see you later.